Hi guys, how are you all doing? So today I'm doing this cut crease look for the new year. I hope all of you had a great new year celebration and I wish you all the greatest time in the year ahead. I certainly have a big new year celebration myself as you can hear from my voice. I fell sick in the last couple of days and, and I'm just recovering basically and here I am making another video. Okay, I'm going straight with the eyes today and I'm using this Models Prefer palette in the shade Ash and taking this light brown shade and I'm going to apply all over my lid as my canvas color today and taking this next shade which is a darker brown color I'm going to use this as my transitions color the brush that I'm currently using is actually a blending brush with a pointy shape I purposely using this brush to apply my transition color to create a fake crease on my monolith and as you can see using the windshield motions I pretty much draw a line on the crease Models Prefer is actually an Australian brand and I'm not too sure if you can find it anywhere else other than Australia I recently bought four little palettes from them and each little palette they have 10 shades and the theme of the palette is basically nude shades they're quite okay I guess um, they are not too pricey I think it was about $14 Australian and in terms of their pigmentations I think they are just average but then again it's good for just everyday palette and again don't forget to blend all the harsh edges I'm taking this dark charcoal color and I'm gonna use this to deepen my crease I'm just gonna apply this using the same brush that I originally used to apply the transition color and as you can see I'm trying to deepen the crease by using a darker color on top of my transition color to make the crease to appear more real Next, I'm taking this Maybelline Color Tattoo in shade Gold Rush and with a concealer brush, I'm going to apply it all over my lid just up to the crease line that I created with the black shadow previously. It is actually kind of struggling to apply this color because I've had this pot for quite a long time and I haven't been using it and it's kind of drying and as you can see, I've tried hard to actually apply it all over my lid. I should have just wet the um, brush. I then decided to intensify the color using this gold color in the palette and just apply it on top of the Maybelline cream shadow. And the look is pretty much done so I'm tapping off all the big powder first before finalizing the look. Then I go in with the dark brown color and apply it all over my lash line. I also apply some of the gold shadow on the lash line to balance out the look. For the eyeliner, I'm using Hip Liner from L'Oreal and this is actually my all-time favorite eyeliner. I've been using this for such a long time but sadly L'Oreal have already discontinued this product. So my next favorite eyeliner I would say from MAC which is the Black Track Gel Liner. I'm using these Eyelid Lashes today. I don't actually wear lashes in my everyday makeup so I'm not exactly sure how good this product compares to other brands. And I know that Ilo actually make a lot of types of lashes. This is in particular, they said it gives dimension. For contouring, I'm using Tony Molly Crystal Blush in color Sugar Brown. And again, using my Eco Tools Kabuki brush, I'm going to contour my jawline and all over my face. Don't forget guys, if you require more information, I have listed all the products down below in the description box. Or you can also put a comment on the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
as I'm not aiming for a strong contour today, I'm using this Physician Formula Powder Palette in Mineral Glow Pearl to just give a bit of natural highlight. I should also mention that the brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques setting brush which I think perfect for highlighting. Next, using this eyebrow pencil from Daiso, I'm going to create my eyebrow. If you do have Daiso in your area, give this eyebrow pencil a try and let me know what you think. I think it is actually quite comparable with the drugstore's um, brand for eyebrow pencil. Normally, in doing my eyebrow, I start with drawing the frame of my eyebrow. Start with the bottom line and then followed by the top part and then I connect the two line at the end by creating the tail I then fill in the color in between and again depending on how you want your eyebrow to look like you can do a block color or you can also do a feathery look by drawing a stroke line and smooth them out with your spoolie I tend to go for the block color and then I smooth out the beginning of the eyebrow with my spoolie to actually soften the look a little bit. For the blush, I'm using Physician Formula Blush as well in the color Coral. And just using your blush brush, you just have to blend out the blush with the contour color. So for the lip today, I'm using Kali Cosmetic Matte Lip Kit in Color Expose. It is a nude orangey color which I thought is quite suitable for the look. So this is the final look. I was so glad that I actually finalized the video because it was such a hot day when I actually filmed this. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you just came across my channel, um, this is actually my fourth video. So make sure you actually check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thanks again guys, bye!